Christmas trees are up, and whether it's real or artificial, many curious cats and destructive dogs take a special interest in them, which can lead to an unexpected ER visit to your vet. Here are some tips to keep your fur baby safe from Christmas tree hazards this holiday season. Every year, countless Christmas trees fall at the paw of a cat or dog, which can lead to injury. When possible, place your tree in a corner of the room and anchor it to the wall. Use a freestanding baby fence to block off the area and close off access to the room when you're not home. Blinking lights can be a chewing temptation and may result in electrocution or severe electrical burns to your pet's mouth. So avoid stringing lights near the bottom of your tree and consider taping down excess wiring or extension cords. Don't put tinsel on your tree. It's practically an irresistible toy for cats, and dogs are not immune to its allure either. These sparkling strands are easily ingested, often resulting in an intestinal blockage and surgery for removal. And remember that the same hazard exists for those yummy strings of popcorn as well. I mean, you're basically hanging a snack on a tree with a string attached, right? If possible, avoid using glass ornaments or at the very least avoid hanging them on the lower branches of your tree. Happy dogs with wagging tails can easily knock off and break low-hanging decorations, causing possible injury. And believe it or not, many dogs have eaten glass and other ornaments. Now those handmade ornaments from salt dough are better kept in storage as keepsakes than on your tree. These types of ornaments contain a toxic amount of salt for both dogs and cats. But don't despair, there are still really great pet safe ornaments to decorate your tree with. For those of you who prefer a real Christmas tree, make sure to clean up all those pine needles as they fall because they can really irritate your pet's mouth and stomach if eaten. And keep in mind that the water in which your tree is sitting will be seen as a new water bowl. However, that stagnant water can become a breeding ground for bacteria and may contain fertilizers and even aspirin, which is very toxic to cats. So remember to keep a lid on it.